Did you know that four out of five Americans zone out when people talk about Google Analytics? It's a serious problem facing Americans today, something we intend to do something about. walking through a uh, Google Analytics login and just to get started we have to understand what the basics are and from 30,000 feet the types of metrics right there are two buckets I want you to think about there's like how good and how many or for those of you that are more quant it's like quantitative versus qualitative metrics so to start we've got users sessions and page views users used to be unique visitors sessions used to be visits and then the page views remains page views. So in this hierarchy, we start with users. It's the unique amount of people, as far as they can tell, based on device, based on IP, where you're logging into with a Google account maybe. So they're trying to just tell you how many unique people were there. The sessions are kind of like, let's think of it as meals, right? So if I have breakfast, that's a session. I go through several plates. Then I have lunch a little bit later. That's another session. So a user can have multiple sessions even throughout the day. So continuing on with this, we can look at page views, right? So a session can have multiple page views. Think of it's like a child of a child. Users at the top, then sessions, then page views. You can have multiple page views. In the 90s, we used to call this hits. And you know, you could just sit on your site and refresh, 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 and be like, look, mom, I got 30,000 hits because I refreshed it 100 times. Uh, thank God those days are over. Uh, <laughs> a derivation of that is the pages uh, per, what is that thing called? Sessions, yeah. Pages per session, uh, which is a factoring of just like the total page views over sessions. And this is getting more into that qualitative idea of, you know, how good is this traffic? On average, how many page views are happening per that session? Or if you want to get back to our like lunch analogy, how many dishes did we have during that lunch? And the higher that is in general, the better. Obviously context is key, but you get the idea. Next, I want to talk about the how good, right? The qualitative metrics. So I want to start with bounce rate here. Inside of bounce rate, is if I land on a given page and I immediately leave, right? The first page, whether it's the home page, whether it's a sub page, if I just land on that and immediately leave, I have technically bounced. And if I'm the only person that went to that site, well, they'd have a 100% bounce rate for that page. Very useful metric for looking at it in context for the type of traffic that's coming to you. And you'll see different bounce rates even from different social media sources. In general, willing to bet that if you look at your Facebook referring traffic versus your Twitter referring traffic, Facebook is gonna have a lower bounce rate, meaning that it is more effective or potentially better traffic than Twitter. Exit rate. So exit rate is, think of it as like an exit sign. You can't. You can exit pretty much from any page and it's only after you've survived the bounce rate, right? You've gone past that first page that you can officially exit from a page. Eventually you're gonna exit, 100% exit from some page of this site unless you're Facebook because Facebook's like Hotel California. Once you enter, you, know, can, you, you can never leave. Continuing on on the how good, right? The qualitative metric, average session duration, right? This is on average how long people are spending on your site. This can be wildly misleading because in general, averages mush everything together. So Bill Gates is watching right now. Everyone who watches the show is an average millionaire. Nice job, you, you can retire. That's not the case. One of the big things that happens with average session duration is that if you bounce, you remember what a bounce rate is, right? You land on one page and you immediately leave. If you bounce, zero seconds. Even if you spent half an hour, not half an hour, even if you spent like five minutes looking at that page, it would count as zero seconds unless you click on the next page. So Google Analytics is kind of like a little uh, coach with a stopwatch and you run around that track and it can only tell how long you've been running until you pass that coach at that side So let's say you run run one lap and then on that next lap you like you leave because you're tired You're like this coach is annoying Well, if you leave Google Analytics only knows that first page So the page you exit from also will have inaccurate data on your session duration One of the things you can do is filter out people that bounce in order to get a more accurate view What's more accurate though is the average time on page and this is given in the context of a page you're looking at. I like this a lot better actually. Finally I want to talk about new versus returning visitors and this is a, an idea of like who's returning back to your site on an ongoing basis. What I like about it is that, uh, well also the creepy thing is it's tracking for like up to two years in your saved cookies whether or not you've been to that site before. So when you look at returning it's not based on like oh the last week or whatever it's like in all of history, based on the time frame I'm looking at, 
has this person been here in the past two years? And we get a real sense of, are we attracting new people or returning people? Good or bad is up to you, uh, depending on what you're trying to achieve. Uh, if you're trying to create a resource that's building uh, a dedicated uh, audience that wants to come back again and again and again, and you only have like 1% returning traffic, that might be trouble. All right, that's been Google Analytics basics and dashboards. Hope it was helpful. We covered a lot. So comments, questions, tweet them at Whole Whale or leave them in the comments. Uh, if they're smart, if they're funny, we'll respond. If they're inquisitive, uh, other adjectives, sure, we love it. In general, subscribe, you know, because that makes us feel good. Um, I would also like it if you watch this video. It's great, it's helpful, it's nutritious. Don't eat it though. Yeah, definitely don't need it.